Yeah, what do you think will be top tier in the next game? What do you think you'll be seeing a lot of? Hmm. Uh, I, I think I may have I may have went all of Smash Bros. without ever watching Palutena versus Alomar. I don't know if I ever have seen it. But now now if you're a commentator and you haven't seen it, what, what are you doing? Yeah. Where have, really. you been, where have you been the past two months? Yeah. These are two very common, very good. Very good characters. Yeah. Characters, yeah. And with with users who have who have built up a resume uh, as like very very good with this character Utopian Ray yeah was a Rosa Blina main the character received some interesting changes I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily like they got got nerfed of course yeah she's not she's not she wasn't as as uh, badly left off as some of the other characters but Palutena with having almost every option at her disposal at any given point of the I, time I feel like a lot of Rosalina's went to Palutena yeah. Now, one thing uh, I know you and I were talking about uh, before we came on commentary is Utopian Ray plays with his bag on his lap, yeah. and then he has his hands on top of his bag. And, and we were saying that when you practice, when you practice any esport or anything in general, you want to replicate tournament conditions as your closely home. as possible. Right. Uh, yeah, in, in your yeah. home. Does he play with the bag on so his lap I, at home? I, 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 in my mind, it would be weird to play on the bag if you weren't used to it. No. Who knows? So it makes me think that he might hold the bag at home. He just always. Never too far away from his back. He's, hold, he's holding his damage right now. He got yeah. caught two in air. Wow, this is exactly what my... Myron, like, the SDI down to the ground shielded or something. Mm -hmm. That was really good. Yeah. I was going to say, this Utopian Ray giving him a taste of his own medicine, starting out by giving him a quick 70%, but Myron turned it all around, and now Utopian Ray's at 80, before I was even finished with my sentence. Great parry there. Going to get the double jabs off of it. Not going to find the pick and throw after it. Utopian Ray getting a too high up. Going for the jump there on the reef. Oof. He's always staying outside your range with these picks, man. Yeah. It's beautiful. Ooh! Utopian Ray did it. That was a good parry, but he didn't get much off yeah. And when I say he didn't get much, I mean he died. Mm. So he got literally the least amount you can get. Which is survival. Oh, purple, gonna get the throw here. That white, the, the white forward air not gonna do as much as the purple, but it'll work. Yeah. No. I, I really don't feel like Myron's getting much of the, out of these parries as he was in the past sets we've watched. I feel like Utopian Ray is, is there and ready with the punish every single time. Forward air, so beautiful. Forward air kill. That move doesn't really kill very much, but when you're at the ledge, a high percent, yeah. and you're as light as Alomar, anything can kill you. I like the option of Nair to get him off. Just it's, it's so many multi-hits just to get the Pikmin off of you. Yeah. Maybe going for a spike there, but, but Myron getting back to the ledge as quickly as possible. They're trying to come down, going up aggressively with the uppie and trying to land with the hitbox. Utopian Ray ready for it. Utopian Ray seems to really have control of the ledge. That's that's where he seems to be most comfortable. And you, you gotta think, you got to buzz in New York as well. Yeah. Yeah. This might be this might be something he's knows. But Myron gonna get the better end of him there. Able to uh, take the stock lead even with the uh, the high percents he is at. And Utopian Ray on this edge guard too. We've seen him convert many many of these, so he might be adding another one to the repertoire. I feel like he's using Explosive Flame not to get the kill, but force, to, to force the jump. Yeah. Oh, wow. Myron, he survived the Explosive Flame with the... The Whistle jumping, Armor. Yeah. And I didn't know that was a thing. Yep. So I apologize for overreacting to something that's probably pretty basic in this matchup. Yeah. But I had I didn't know that, so that was interesting. Um, it's interesting that Super Armor lasts that long, is, is what I'm yeah, what I was mostly surprised by. Yeah. That's what I, why I was surprised, because it's, so it's like a bunch of hits. Oh, my God, that parry. Um, but like you were saying, I agree. I don't think that the Explosive Flame is there to try and take the stock. I think it's there just to make Myron go around it. Mm. Neutral Tech here with the red in place. Now is the purple coming from ledge. The down smash probably to kill the Pikmin. I understand that. But they're going to get back to Alomar anyway. Oh, going through the platform. Just getting down the ledge. Looking for a grab. Ooh, that's, you, yeah, that's really punishable if you're... If you're grab? Ooh! Yeah. That's going to do it. If you're closer to Palutena than her Explosive Flame, like you're between the Explosive Flame and her, you can punish it with just about anything. Mm -hmm. Was that a blue throw? That Did was a blue throw. Okay. Yep. He, he, was cycling, he was cycling through them like a madman to get that blue before he, uh, he scrambled. I wonder what Myron's listening to. He's definitely in his like Kanye West zone right now. Yeah. <laughs> he's got yeah. the head. He's got the head going. He's That's a hunger box at Big House three. No one man should have all that power. <laughs> that's that's Alomar with three purples. He's got all the power in the world. Yeah, too much. <laughs> too, too much. But red, yellow, and blue gonna start it off here, getting that blue throw early, trying to set up an early edge guard. But Utopian right now, not a high enough percent to be thrown off the stage quite yet. 
able to put him back in firm position here. Myron now with his back to the ledge. I think Myron just ducked under Utopian Ray's landing forward air. Mm -hmm. He ducked for just a quick second to not get hit by that, and then came back up and punished. And if he did that intentionally, that was like the best spacing I have ever seen in my life. That was actually like the best duck I have ever seen. Ooh, perfect parry. I'm surprised he didn't go for a grab there. He had the blue on line after the parry. So just getting the jabs, though. It's, it's easy damage. Resets neutral. Oh, caught him with the explosive flame there. Going high, trying to get another one. Yeah. Wow, yeah. Utopian Raid's got explosive flames everywhere. It's just a force and option. It's like a meteor shower. Yep. Oh, he used the super armor on Downbeat to get through the floor. That was beautiful. And the Pikmin oh, on, getting shield poked wow. there. Yeah, not <laughs> happy about it. <laughs> Myron is paying so much attention to trying to last some Pikmin onto him to get more Woo. damage. Okay, Couple there's away. the Goodbye. onslaught of smash attacks. A lot of people, once they get hit, their shield gets hit, they really want to let go of it. They yeah. really want to let go of it. Well, so. Alomar will break your shield. Yeah, you he'll, 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 he'll want to smack it. Oh, Utopian Wraith, no. In the case of Alomar's up smash, at least, shield does not beat attack. <laughs> Yeah, the proper counterplay is to not be near him Just when he does it in there. the first yeah. place. Yeah, it's a wrong place, wrong time kind of move. Yeah, I, I, yeah he had the Pikmin. He had to work with it. I like it. Not gonna get the blue. Has the blue on line here. Just the blue, but now he's got a purple and a white with it. So when you have a blue and a purple, that's when you're. That's when you're schmoovin'. <laughs> that that yeah, is yeah. certified schmoovin' on on Olimar. It's Olimar and his his yeah. Honestly, state. two purples and a blue. It might be optimal, Olimar. It might be. Yeah. Oh, here's the blue grab. Goodbye. God, he cycles through them like a madman. Yeah. Down throw, forward air. And he whistles through it every single time. This is really close. Utopian Ray doesn't need much to take the stock, no. and then we'll be in an even less, no. less stock situation. But I think I just think Myron's doing a much better job of not being at the ledge, and I, I just think Utopian Ray excels in keeping him off. Yeah, that's what I was saying in the last game. That's yeah. where he seems to be most comfortable, so Myron won't go over there. Yeah. And whenever he gets back, he's using every option, all of his super armor and all of his jumps available to him, just just like not even get to the ledge. He just wants to be in the middle of the stage. Yep. What's the Great option? Up throw? Reverse time Fourth throw. Really Ooh, yeah, four right off the jump, get up. Tournament winner, call it for a reason. He did he did uh, <laughs> he did tournament winner uh, whistle, and Utopian Ray just like waited for the whistle. It was a really good call out by Utopian Ray because if Myron would have like done an he could have just like forward aired him. Yep. But Utopian Ray waited for whatever the option was and it was defensive. It was the right call and he took a stock for it. And I, I think that's what oh, it is. Oh, okay. not gonna go out to extend quite yet, but still out there. This is scary. Done on. No, the purple, the purple Pikmin. He comes in close. Was so good for Myron right there because it. Like you done it good, stopped, pick. Yeah, it stopped you done the good. edge guard. Uh, Utopian Ray was kind of it was his last ditch. Like if I can. Rob you of this stock right here. He got that again. He's been doing that. Okay. I see I see the uh, the team Armada manager for Myron behind him and he is just losing it. Yeah. Is that who that is? I, I mean he got the Armada jersey on, I hope so. Take it! Ooh, wow. not gonna get the option too. Gonna well, go to a was, game three. That was such a good comeback. That was beautiful. That was awesome. It, 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 really good. it did it wasn't like a percent comeback, but it was just like a war of I want to do what I want to well, do. Well there was a point where Utopian Ray was at like eighty percent on his last stock, and Myron still had two stocks. Yeah. So this is one woman. He's got the best of three starts now. I like Utopian Race 2 headset setup. He does. He does. He does have the headphones around his neck and his ears. Mm -hmm. Stereo sound. You know? <laughs> it's that 4K audio. <laughs> it's really. It's oh, the that's that double forward air. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so many players have their 0% combos just perfected. I know. Uh, it, like, people are exploding at 0%, but if, if the combo starts at 5%, they're not getting that much damage. <laughs> yeah. They know exactly what to do when they grab you at 0 At 0%, because that's the only percent you could ever guarantee your opponent to be at every game. Yeah, that's 1% I know that I'll always find, find my at. Find my opponent at, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which, which makes a lot of sense, though. It's it's It's... These like uh, Utopian Ray and Palutena, very bread and butter oriented characters, and you just you just see him just taking him to the clinic in this in this beginning part of this first game. Yeah, Utopian Ray is doing so well now. This is a Ooh, he's 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 in a danger zone right here. Myron is. Oh, they both are. Wow, Wow grabs that smash attack, which is a risky thing to try and do, but uh, Force Smash is a little bit more punishable than the up smash, mm -hmm. um, and it worked out. Palutena's back throw super strong in this game, mm -hmm. and also in my opinion. 
It's like the most dramatic looking. Huh. <laughs> yeah, it's a very diva esque. And, yeah, but but Myron and Alomar, he just hucks you. He's like he's like, <laughs> yeah. he's like throwing bags of corn over the wall. All right, my uh, Alomar doesn't try to make his throws look good. He just wants to be. He just wants to get you out of there. Yeah. He's, he's a good old boy. He really up, is. Yeah. He's like he's like the farmer. Yeah, right. He's just <laughs> getting the work. He kind of is like a farmer. He grows vegetables. Vegetables of mass destruction. <laughs> yeah. The, the Voma. Yeah. The Voma. Two purples hey, online here. Right back into that supposed to play. Got to get rid of him here if he wants to get up, because Olimar is weighed down by what Pikmin he has. Yeah, when his upbeat. His upbeat. Uh, Ooh, yeah. Explosive Flame going to give Utopian Ray the edge for, for free. Yeah, that's, he's done that so many times. I pointed out in the last game. But when he falls past the ledge and Explosive Flames onto the stage, mm -hmm. it, that is really hard to expect that. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that meat, meat that back there. My God. Yeah, yeah like, it really looks like it a didn't mallet. Yeah, it didn't send him anywhere, but God, did it, it just look like it, it looked hurt. like it hurt. Yeah, it yeah. was like a, like a Ryu forward air. It's like, ugh. All right, so Myron's Ooh, the parry. parry, back throw, wow, that was good. Purple, red, yellow is the option here. Got the electric on site, going to get the forward smash, not going to kill quite yet. Nope. Yellow on line again. He likes to set up the yellow for the down smash at ledge, and I'm, I'm yeah. inter interested why. I wonder if the electric property gives it a bigger hitbox. Possibly. Or Ooh, there's the up throw on the on blue, though. You know what it might be is just that like any of them are going to kill, so I'm going to use the weakest one to make sure after I use it, one of my stronger ones are next line. Very well could be the case. Yeah. Going for the jab block. He's not going not to get it. Yeah. Not going to go for it, I should say. Myron, at, at, okay, getting you from 0 to 70 is is something that Myron has proven himself to be insanely good at. Yeah. That was interesting. Yeah, that was, uh, that was an interesting back. I didn't think it would make, put him in a tech situation, but it did. Oh. These guys parried. They're literally in the <laughs> ones and zeros of the code. They, yeah. they are red pills out of their freaking mind. <laughs> All right, what you got for us, Neo? I think uh, Utopian Ray just tried to parry right there. He was flashing his shield. Uh -huh. Something that the expo another thing the explosive flame does is it burns Alomar's air dodge. All right, Ooh. so Utopian Ray is now hey. up two one. That move is got caught on the short hop. You really have to be always ready for it. Mm -hmm. Because she'll let it bang. She will let it bang. She'll she'll posterize you with that one. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh oh, the headphone came out for one second. Going back in, probably should turn the volume up to, to eleven. Crank it up, man. You don't want to hear our dumbasses. <laughs> Shout out to people who have uh, the stream on right now. Yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in. It is it is quite late. It is one thirty. It was one eleven. That's how we do it. Yeah, that's how we do it in Michigan, man. In the dead of winter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in the dead of winter. You're right. All right. Olimar, Politana, once again going into this game four. Myron started strong, but it looks like Utopian Ray is making his adjustments as, need, as needed. What will Myron do to respond? Yeah, it's, he can adapt back. It's, it's, it's easier uh, to figure out what you need to change when you're losing. Like, obviously, that goes without saying, but yeah. it, it is important to note that, like, figuring out what would work better. You can always, that's that's the fun thing about competition, is that it's easier to move ahead. Ooh, goodness gracious. He's making the adjustments. Behind. Yeah, mm. and so it's like a back and forth type of thing when you have players that are like at a very even skill level mm. to kind of just trade who knows more. And they learn more and more about each other. And it's why we were saying that it's fun to watch sets with like Myron and Dyer, people mm -hmm. who have played each other a lot. Yeah, they just, they just kind of develop that, that repertoire with each other. Yeah. And I think I think we're starting to see that here with Myron. I think those games, those games two, uh, the game one he was really he was really using the uh, the whistle to his advantage in the in the games. Yep. Two and three, we saw Utopian Ray start to adapt to that. So now it, it seems like anytime he's coming out of hit stun, he's not pressing the the down B button, the down B immediately. He's yeah. he's waiting a little bit. It's another thing that makes best of five so much more fun to watch than best of three. Yeah. <laughs> see Utopian Ray using a lot more back throws too. Specifically, mm -hmm. he's getting more parries, and back throws are both getting more parries. Yeah. I just love the way these guys learn. Purple, purple, white. Uh, using down smash again. Probably just to get, get rid take of it away from him, yeah. yeah. He is run and gun with these Pikmin. He pulls one and he is throwing it immediately. But the Nair will take him out. Yeah, Nair kills off the top. And so the stocks are even, but he's got a 9. Oh, he got him on the platform again! He did it, yeah, the pick forward smash. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think that might have a bigger hitbox, the yellow one. Because he oh. always makes sure to have the yellow out. Right, I'll, I'll need to ask him about that after, because that is quite some tech. Yeah. 
That parry coming down. This music is so much better for fighting than any of the Smashville music. In Smashville. <laughs> Small shield here. Gonna have to see Utopian Ray taking advantage. Give him some time to get that shield back online. Probably isn't. Still looking small. Trying to drift him with some short hop nares here, but it looks like Myron's just keeping his short frame down so he's not getting hit by it. Yeah. That was a full back air. Like yeah, that was, I almost killed. That was the extended cut, like the director's version. <laughs> yeah, there's like... Yeah, there's like director and creator commentary on that one. Right. Spacing out these back airs, though. Utopian Ray. Again gets hit by yeah. that. I, he, Utopian Ray does that so much, mm -hmm. and it hits like every time. Yeah. Maybe he can identify when it won't hit, so he doesn't do it in those situations, but it seems just like really good. There it is again. Mm -hmm. Oh, he, Yeah. Okay, so that was fairly decisive. I was going to say Utopian Ray didn't go straight to the ledge, like he went away and then, like he teleported so that he was out away from the ledge, and then he was going to drift toward it to avoid like the yellow down smash, but the drift toward got caught anyway, and yeah. so now Myron forces a game five with a two stock. So that was, has Quite this whole set been on Smash Bros? No, no, we saw some, we saw some Pokemon stadium. Yeah, we did. Earlier parts of the set, but it was there. Now, is it, this is Utopian Race stage counter pick. I'm thinking probably Kalos's band. If, if you're if you're talking Palutena, you like the you like the big wide open area, and you have the side platforms. Yeah, I was talking to uh, Goma earlier. He says he prefers for Alamar. He prefers the long flat stages mm. like Town, FG, and Kalos. Interesting. And um, Palutena's got good. <laughs> She's good got good battlefield combos. She does. So now we're going to Yoshi. Yoshi's which is like a different. It's, it's like bad Smash version Bell. of Smash Bros. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just with sli slanted edges. Those slanted edges could prove kind of in the kind of useful for the, the Pikmin. They could. Yeah, just I, I can see that. with increasing the distance they go, just with the slight angle downward and how they'd yeah. have to fall a slight bit farther. Three, but hey, man, it's a game of inches. Go. You never know what will take you the game. Yeah, I think it's really important to pay attention to who gets the Ooh. first stock. Yes. It seems to mean a lot. I mean, these guys go back and forth. Um, but it's, I think it's Alomar with a lead is just so good at doing safe damage. Yeah, like who, who's leading the dance here? Yeah. Somebody's got to take the first step. Yeah, so far it's Myron, but the first step has not really truly been taken until the, until the stock is gone. So it's just dance classes at this point. It really, yeah, it's, it's warm up. Great grab Great there. Grab. Yeah, 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 that was phenomenal. That was like. That was a misspaced forwarder and he punished it accordingly. Yeah. It's really the run-of-the-mill stuff that just if it's done perfectly almost every time that just gets me going. Yeah, that, that's what I like. Okay. There's a purple smash in there. Mm -hmm. I didn't even see how he yeah. had time to do it, but he did. Mm -hmm. hey, out of dash, man. Anything's possible. Yeah. Going to get a grab here? No, I'm going to go for a down tilt, but Utopian Ray going to be able to shield it. So Myron did get off to the lead. Uh, and like I was saying... There's like seven Pikmin on the screen. Am yeah. I wrong? <laughs> this is Brawl Alamar. Yeah, I'm right. This sure. is ridiculous. This guy's, this guy's got 17 things out. Got seven rings. Yeah, Alamar may, might even be the best character in the game at doing safe damage. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, he can just add so much extra credit without ever putting himself at risk. Immediately calling the, the Pikmin back. Doesn't want him to get hit. Get him to get hurt. Not the babies. There's <laughs> a the grab there. Ooh. Utopian Ray. Really having a hard time with this stuff. No. I think oh, that deep. Myron is getting a lot better at not getting hit by explosive flame. Yep. He like hasn't been hit by it at all, and now it's a three to one stock situation in game five. This really seems uh, like Myron's game to lose at this point. And Paul Tim's one of those characters with playing catch up on is not that easy. You have your bread and butters too, but when you have the opponent in a point where they don't want to get around you and when everything they're doing is to get out of the combo, not at a disadvantage, it's it's really hard. Yeah, that's not one of Palutena's uh, biggest yeah. strengths. Because Palutena is really good at following you when you're trying to just get out of disadvantage, but when you're trying to just completely just get out of everything and yeah. just, just not, even, not play the not, game. Not even engage in yeah. the first place, yeah. that's, that's tough. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Meaty. Down air. Oh, trying to get the up smash off yeah, the, uh, the knockdown. Yeah. That was like Nair. Nair. That Nair the up smash would have been really good. Two blues, and he's just going to rock with two blues to try and get a grab, or even an up smash. Wow. That's the mix up, though. If you have the two blues, and then you just go for the up smash, I like that. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, I don't want a shield because he's going to grab me with one of those blues, and you get smashed. God, I really wish Myron wasn't still in bracket because I want to know what he's listening to. <laughs> yeah, you 
All right, grand final set one is going to be Zenodo versus Myron. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Zenodo holding that, holding that.